Hi there, this is Jeff Reeves, editor of InvestorPlace.com. I'm here again with Charles Sizemore of Sizemore Capital Management. So uh, let's talk housing, Charles. Um, it's kind of been a big run up in the last year, 18 months or so. We're starting to see a little bit of cooling now. Um, July housing starts missed expectations and mortgage rates are starting to tick up. It seems like we're kind of, uh, I don't want to say it like an inflection point, but things are a little more muddled. The, the, the recovery is here, but maybe sure. not as powerful as it was before, right? It's time for people to start rethinking about what they think about housing, right? Well, there, there's really two different issues here. You know, one is this immediate short-term risk of Fed tapering. You know, what does that mean? Is, that, is Fed tapering going to kill the housing recovery? Well, it's going to kill the refinancing boom. It already has. You know, there's no reason for anyone to refinance their house at this point because mortgage rates have risen um, from, from their recent lows. So companies that really benefit from a high volume of originations they are going to, to take a hit here. They already are. This b bigger picture, though, is actually really good. Um, why did you buy a house? Uh, children. Had to have more room. That's same old story. The same old story. That's why I bought one. That's why most of the viewers watching this bought their house. That, that's why we all go through a, a life cycle here. We get married, usually. We, we normally have kids. And once we do, we can't fit them in an apartment anymore. We have to go buy a house. Our frivolous urban lifestyle goes yeah. away, and we, we move out. We, we move out to the suburbs. Well, that's about to happen in a big way here as Generation Y moves into those years. Now, right now, the biggest group of Generation Y, and I guess to review Generation Y, this is the Millennials, the Echo Boomers. This is the these are the children of the baby. Twenty somethings, right about now, right? Twenty somethings up to about very early thirties. Uh, this is, depending on where you draw the lines, they're either the biggest generation in history, bigger than their parents, the baby boomers, or they're a little bit smaller. Uh, I'd say they're about the same size. Uh, this generation uh, is starting to enter that family formation stage. The, the, the front end of it is already settled in the burbs, but the, uh, the, the biggest cohort there are, are just getting out of college. So what does that mean? You know, these people just getting out of college, probably they're working at Starbucks, so they have that first, uh, that first out of college job. Marriage and children and buying a house seems like a long way away for them, but it's really not. You're talking about five years at most. So longer term here, this big macro trend of the family formation of the Echo Boomers Generation Y, this is a major event, and this means very good things for housing and all housing-related uh, supporting industries if, you, if your time horizon is you know, five, seven years. Yeah, I would buy that. Uh, I, I do find concern, though, in the fact that in the short term, though, then, if we're getting squeezed with um, interest rates rising, it's not just going to be kind of refinancing. There's also going to be some people in, in, who are priced out of the market if they can't afford as much house because their payments go up. And also, like this kind of Gen Y narrative, at least in the very immediate term, youth unemployment is much higher than older unemployment. So like in the next year or so, I think there are some serious pressures that are coming on housing. I mean, I don't want to say that there's going to be another downturn or anything like that, but it seems to me like the, the, the initial push that we got off the bottom at least is going to moderate. I mean, do you buy that at least in the, in the, in the near term that we're seeing some, some choppiness here? Well, there's definitely a lot of Generation Y kids sleeping on couches right now, whether in their friends' houses or in their parents' basements. <laughs> so they're, they're, they're definitely, you know, these, this group is not buying houses tomorrow. But that's flat out not going to happen. And you're right, at the margin, uh, what, 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 what does it matter if mortgage rates tick up by a percent? Well, at the margin, if you were close to buying a house, you could kind of afford it, not quite. You were right there at the edge. If your payment now goes up by 100 bucks, well, probably you're not going to buy. So it does take out some of those marginal buyers, and in the short term, th those, those are some headwinds. Uh, I would not view this as risk of, oh, no, it's going to be 2008 again. We're going to have another bust. Housing prices are going to collapse. To me, this means house price increases, which prices have been on the rise lately. Significantly. Significantly. That rate of growth will moderate. You're still going to have some growth. It's just going to slow down. The volume of buying will slow down. It's going to take a step back here, but I don't see this risk that's going to fall off a cliff again. Well, then that may be an opportunity then, right? If we're going to see a little bit of choppiness and, and a shift in sentiment from go-go housing to more moderate, then if you want to take a position based on this macro trend five years down the road, you know, maybe the next... Nine to eighteen months would be a decent buying opportunity, right? Well, yeah. It was one thing I've said, and this is bad, bad advice for me because I obviously benefit from stock market investments. But I would say, uh, if you want a good investment, look for a bargain. Go out and buy a single-family house and rent it out. Uh, to me, that's that's a good place to park money. 
And if you want to look for uh, opportunities in the stock market, look for uh, for supporting in, you know, industries that support housing, uh, home improvement stores, what have you. Buy them on dips. I wouldn't I wouldn't chase them higher, but if if they sell off, I would look, I would see that as a buying opportunity. Huh, that's really good insight. So in the short term, we're going to have a little bit of choppiness, and longer term, big macro trend for people to look out for and get into housing. So thanks, you Charles. Bet. You bet.